it's time for another beer from Beer 52 November Awards 2020 box. And this is from Seven Brothers. It's a hoppy pale. But what's it going to be like? Let's check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer from the Seven Brothers. This is a Hoppy Pal from Beer 52 Box, the awards. Now, they, the award that they have won from Beer 52 is the collaboration of the year. So they did a collaboration with Kellogg's, of all people, um, and they obviously brewed different um, different beers based on some of the sort of um, some of the um, cereals that that Kellogg's didn't find that they were good enough to put in their box. So they had uh, they used the cornflakes on a beer, they used some uh, cocoa pops on a stout, um, and they also used some Rice Krispies as well. Um, so I haven't tried those. This isn't got any. This isn't a collaboration. This is just their hoppy pow. It's coming at a free. 3.8%, it says tropical session light. So, I mean, 3.8% is quite low in alcohol, but you know, it could be quite flavoursome. So, I like the artwork as well. Another sort of very sort of, you know, clean and crisp, bright blue can with obviously the number seven. Seven Brothers, the brewery actually has, is actually made off seven brothers. And actually those brothers have also got five sisters. So, and they've actually got a gin, uh, a gin distillery business uh, called, surprisingly enough, Five Sisters. So we've got seven, this is seven brothers, not to be confused with five sisters. Um, and this is from, uh, and this is a brewery based in, I think they're actually based in Manchester, or somewhere like that. Let's have a quick look on the can, does it tell us? Manchester or Salford, so um, yeah, I was actually, yeah, Salford. So Salford is a city, people class it, it's pretty much Manchester. Um, sorry if you're a, from Salford that you want to say we're not Manchester, we're Salford, but yeah. So this is from Salford, not a million miles from me, we're in the northwest, so are Seven Brothers. I've never had a Seven Brothers beer before, so I'm looking forward to getting this one out of the can and into a glass. So... Um, yeah, so we've got a couple of pails, uh, quite low in the alcohol. So, yeah, I thought I'd do them pretty much back to back. So we, I have just uh, drank the um, the one from Vocation. That was pretty good. I mean, again, this one being a glass, it's a bit darker. I mean, it's a sort of orangey colour. Again, the, the screen makes it look a little bit darker than it is in real life. I mean, there's loads of bubbles in there. It's very sort of, uh, very sort of carbonated. We've got a one finger there, sort of just off white head. Yeah, let's get some aromas. Yeah, I mean, it's not overly, there's not big aromas. I mean, it's 3.8%. So you're going to expect a lot of it all dialed back a little bit. I'm really sort of struggling to pick out those aromas in there. I mean, it's fruity. Um more towards the citrus than the sort of tropical, even though it says tropical. Probably a little bit of mango and passion fruit really in there as well to give that sort of tropical sort of aroma. So let's try it, shall we? Cheers, everyone. Yeah, it's a little disappointing. Orangey, passion fruit. They're the big flavours, but it does taste a little bit lacking, as if it's a little bit watery, a bit diluted. 3.8%, you know, you would expect that. Let's have another. It's pleasant, but it's very sort of lacking in flavours. There's not the big flavours in there. It's a very drinkable parallel. Passion fruit. That's the flavour I'm getting. Passion fruit. There's nothing pineapple. There's no. It's very low in bitterness. It's it's a tradition. It's mm. yeah. It's fairly light, thin body. Fairly high levels of carbonation in there. I'll tell you what it needs. What this beer needs to make it better. Some nuts. So this was the nuts in the box. These are naturally nutty, salty dog, dry roasted nuts. I'm looking forward to these more than I normally would because um, we do get a lot of corn snacks. We've even had olives one month, which I'm not a big fan of. This is the first actual nuts that I can remember having. So um, let's get these out, see what they're like. I mean, 
everyone knows what dry roasted peanut is and that's exactly what these are you can see them there they're nice dry roasted nuts yeah i mean who doesn't like dry roasted peanut brilliant so let's wash these down Yeah, for me, 3.8%, you've got to be a pretty damn good brewer to make a 3.8% beer taste like lots of, you know, get all those sort of tropical flavours in there, which this doesn't. I mean, it's, it has that sort of session, so it's obviously a sessionable pal. Actually, I don't even know if we can get ses sessionable pal hours. I don't even think that's thing that actually exists. Get session IPAs that come in about 4.5%. It has those sort of flavours of a lot of those sort of session IPAs. More passion fruit, orangey. Low levels of bitterness, but it's sort of like, you get that taste of passion fruit, but it's gone before it's even cut, you know, before you've even had a chance to sort of recognise it. And then you have that sort of like, you know, a little bit gassy, a little bit watery sort of flavour. Certainly not bad. It doesn't taste bad. Um, no bitterness and it's but it's so light and almost nothingness that you can just keep you just keep drinking it it's almost like a fizzy alcohol drink um, so yeah I think I've had I've, I've tasted enough to get some scores so let's get some scores shall we Okay, the scores are in for the Seven Brothers Hoppy Pale, 3.8%, and it, it is a bit lacking in flavour, and, and also aromas. So first things first are the aromas. Yeah, you get sort of a, um, you get sort of a slight orangey passion fruit sort of aroma, but it's, it's not, it's not big on its aromas. It's probably not, it's, it's not too bad though, I'm giving it a 10 out of 20. Um, it's just a bit one note and it's not big and powerful. So 10 out of 20. Appearance, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks better actually than it does on the camera. It's a sort of yellowy orange, hazy sort of colour. Again, nice lacing of the glass. Very little head, but quite high levels of carbonation there. I'm giving that. So I'm giving that 8 out of 10 for appearance. Flavour-wise, it's a difficult one because... There's, in terms of the flavour, there's nothing wrong with it. There's not any bitterness, which I like. Um, you get that sort of passion fruit, a little bit of orange on the front end. But then it just sort of, it just fades into sort of almost nothingness. It's very sort of watery, I think. 3.8% and that's probably the reason why. Um, it just doesn't have enough in it to give it a real nice flavour. You know, it's it's not unpleasant, but... You know, there's, it's all very, there's very much nothingness to it. You know, it's, you drink it, you can drink it quite easily because it just tastes like a slightly orangey sort of passion fruity, watery, fizzy thing. That's what it's like. So I'm giving it a 29 for uh, flavour. Value for money, it's another 7 out of 10. Uh, you know, you're paying any free quid for this can. Uh, it's a free 30 mil can. And at 3.8%, you know, you can get, much better beers from the supermarket for that sort of money. Uh, bigger beers, more better alcohol and better tasting. So I'm giving it 7 out of 10. And then my overall experience, well, it's easy drinking. You could knock back 10 of these and, you know, wouldn't even touch the sides really. Just it just doesn't have enough flavour for me. I want craft beer. I want to have. I want to feel that I'm getting experience each time I drink it. I want that that flavour. I want. I want that nice mouth feel. I want low bitterness, but I want to really get all kinds of fruits. Tropical. When it says it's tropical, I want to get more than just a bit of passion fruit. So I'm giving it because it's not unpleasant. I'm giving it 13 out of 20. So we top those scores up. And we get. I'm slightly disappointed in 67. So, you know, that's a cold play. It's a bit it's a bit like cold play really. You know, not inoffensive, but just a bit bland. And that's what this beer is. So, Hoppy Pale from the Seven Brothers. 
Has anyone out there tried uh, any other beers by Seven Brothers? Have they tried any of the collaboration ones? I certainly haven't seen them. Um, and obviously that's what they won the award for. So maybe those are much better. But this isn't, you know, this wouldn't go down as a, a Seven Brothers classic, in my opinion. So um, that's, that's the second beer from the Beer 52. One other thing, Salty Nuts. They're great. I mean, they're dry roasted peanuts. They're no different than your major brands that you can get. There's nothing different about them flavour-wise, but they're a very solid nut. And I'm enjoying these, eating these along with the uh, with the Pal Al. So, to the next one, you know what we're going to do? Keep on rocking!